<laughs> oh, hey, General. Have you seen this report? We finally have an update on what the so-called Western allies are up to. Despite the collapse of the Soviet Union, they're trying to invade the soft underbelly of Europe. <laughs> Oh, this could not be a more fortuitous turn of events. While the Allies stole on our Italian friends, we're finally ready to launch Operation Sea Line. With their best forces deployed to Africa and Italy, this is one tender underbelly indeed. Your task is to get your forces across the English Channel in one piece. This will be difficult if you attempt to run the blockade of Royal Navy ships in the Channel, so I highly recommend clearing them out before committing your transports. It is imperative to establish a strong beachhead, or the British response to their island being invaded would quickly throw us back into the sea. So, don't worry about advancing inland. Focus your efforts on clearing your coastal objectives. Stumbling now and ruining our only chance to pull off this daring invasion could turn the end of the British Empire into the fall of our glorious Reich. Do not let that happen. Welcome back to Pentacor 2, folks. Finally, we are done with Russia, at least for now. Who knows, there might, we might be going back there, but we are done with Russia and we are gonna invade the UK. Fantastic, I love it. All right, we get a new hero, anti-tank support. Okay, that's pretty good. And let's see, let's have a quick look at the map. Let's see if we can deploy quite a bit over here and a bit down here. Um, I think I want to deploy pretty much all my forces over here and take the short travel across from uh, Calais to Dover instead of crossing down here where he was suggesting he was suggesting landing up here. I don't really see the point in doing that. Um, let's just select a unit. We do get some units that are already deployed, a couple of BF-109 Gs, a Fuck Wolf, a Strategic Bomber, and a bunch of ships. Quite a lot of ships, actually, which isn't bad. Okay, so I'm thinking, because it is quite limited how much space we have to deploy our so I'm actually thinking that we might go ahead and do a bit of over strengthening and maybe leave some units behind but we'll see uh, I am going to as per usual uh, reinforce everything and so on uh, so you don't have to sit through that but let's first before I do that let's have a look at what is new Nothing new in, on the infantry front. There's some new Panzer, the Flam Panzer III, which I don't really think we need. The Panzer IV H, which is nowhere near as good as the Tiger I, so it does cost one less slot, but I don't see a point in using that. Recon wise. It's still the same. I might want to upgrade to this one instead of this one. I think I do. Uh, Anti-tank wise, ooh. We get Nashorn, Mara, and Elephants. The Elephant is pretty good, I think. Let's have a look at Nashorn. 30 in heart attack. 15 defense. Where the last one is also 30 heart attack, but 26 defense and 15 air defense and three close defense even. So I think I'll be going for the last one. The Mata 3M is just not as good in, in any way, shape, or form. 
Hmm. Well, it has better ground defense, but not better than the elephant. It is a lot cheaper on unit slots, but if we are, we, we don't have that many slots to use. And the aircraft, nothing. Artillery. Oh, there's a lot. The Vespa. 16, 14, with a 3 range. The Brumbeer. 18, 21, but only with a 1 range. Hands of Alpha. 19, 16, with a 2 range. That actually might not be too bad. The Hummel. 18, 21, with a 3 range. That seems very nice. 17, 8 only, so this is directly infantry with only a 2 range. I think the Hummel is uh, is the best, though the Panzerwerfer is also quite nice. Alright, aircraft-wise, nothing new. Tactical bombers, nothing new. Well, there is the JU-87G. We're using the B at the moment. So... The G is better at hard attack, not as good as ship attack. Okay. Well, I'm guessing we'll have to deal with a lot of ships. So... And strategic bomber-wise, nothing new. Okay. Alrighty. I will reinforce, uh, replace, uh, upgrade, etc. And then I'll be right back. Radio. So I have upgraded and deployed everything. So let's take a look at what I've done. Now, I was talking about going hard on overstrength, but I decided not to. Uh, that might be a mistake. I don't know. But we have our usual four infantry, five tanks. Still Tiger 1s, uh, they are all uh, upgraded to strength 12 now, two of them were 10 before. I've upgraded the recon to the next level, I upgraded my one uh, anti-tank to the elephant and I upgraded one of my uh, stews to an uh, elephant as well. Then I have three Hummels. I don't have my 21s anymore. I upgraded those to Hummels. And of course I have my wonderful Gustav. In the reserves I do have a Hummel and I have a Recon that I haven't upgraded. I also have this old artillery that either needs to go away or be upgraded. But we have 1878 prestige left after everything is said and done. So no need to get rid of it right now. It does have some experience, so maybe later I can upgrade it to something useful. Uh, we have our three anti-air, mainly to protect the Gustav. And then we have... Uh, I, I have three uh, Focke-Wulf 19As. And then we got two BF 109Gs and another Fock Wolf. I have my three two Stukas and uh, M Messerschmitt 410A. Then we have the Henkel that we got from the scenario, the auxiliary unit. And I have my own Henkel which I took out of the reserves. And then we have all our ships. So hopefully. This will, will do. I'm not expecting any counter landings, counter invasions. So I've placed everything over here. I've placed my Gustav up here because it'll be able to reach in here and also reach uh, the ships very nicely. So that's the plan for Gustav. Then I have my planes here and one... Uh, one fuck wolf and the Hinkel down here to help with ships. And I guess that's about it. So the plan is to, to land over here at Dover. 
and take this and basically we can cut off here and protect our invasion and move this way. We have 20 turns to do this, so we don't have as many turns as we usually have, but we'll see. I, I guess we can do it. Let's end the deployment. Oh, the anti-tank guy I put on our new hero, I put on this guy. Uh, so he is anti-tank support as well. And our fast learner I now have on one of our uh, fuck wolves, uh, this one. Uh, which I guess means that I should uh, give it some new camouflage. Uh, we'll do... Let's see, it's summer. German blue summer. Okay. And on this guy we have the first strike, which is quite nice. Uh, but he's almost at full anyway, so that's why I gave this guy with the least experience the fast learner. Right, let's end deployment and get into this. I don't want to risk taking damage, so... Let's do that. We have a sub here, I guess. Yes. All right. And then we have a schnell boat. That doesn't seem nice. That doesn't seem nice either. Uh, I guess they have some anti-air in here. What's this radar? Hmm. I'd like to, yeah. Uh, 3, 1, 4, 2. Hmm. I think the Gustav needs to move down here or something. For now to not get hit by these guys. Let's move the Koenigs back up here. And type A. Is there a ship down there? No. We can fire on that. And then I think we'll gather our ships down here somehow. Can't quite hit it. This is the Tirpitz. Bismarck's sister ship. Actually, you... No, you know what? Let's pull you back a bit. In the hopes that you don't get bombarded to shreds. Okay, there's another ship. Lost one, they lost three. Okay, I can live with that. Uh, let's send this fuck wolf up to protect. Fly up here. Okay. It doesn't seem like they have anti air. One seven seems pretty good to me. Then you actually fast learner. Where's our fast learner? Oh, I already moved him. Four five. 
doesn't seem like a good plan. So we'll bombard these ships instead. This is a Stuka. It can come up and bombard this radar. So, all they have for ships up here is these two. Well, can't quite reach. I'm not sending anything out to sea until those things have gone. Alright. Didn't do any damage, but we suppressed one. Send this football up here. What heroes do you have? Double support, expert support. And you have skill support. Okay. Now, this 109G can come up here. We do see quite a few ships. We'll send you up here. Uh, there's anti-air there. We did do some damage though. Okay, so I don't think we need to move anything else right now. We'll send the Schnellboat up here to close off the canal. Two. Ow. Eight. Okay, that was a bit of an overextension on that Hinkle. Survived though. At least for now. I can live with that. Ooh. That ship needs to go down. I do not want to lose any Gustavs. Alright, so we want to... Take these guys down, so zero 08, take that. Didn't turn out to be true though. Uh, let's see, can you finish that off? You can. Okay. This means that our Hinkle here can come up and bomb this. Good. And maybe Shanhorst can finish it off, not quite. basically banking on taking out their ships quite fast one one doesn't seem very appealing to me well, 
I'll take it. Here, you can start working these guys. We put a couple of screens in front of you. Three hundred and thirty eight. That's not too bad. Okay, this is the auxiliary fog wolf. So we'll send that in first to deal with this hurricane. Which means that you now can finish it off. Very nice, this is a Spitfire. It's going to be a little bit more dangerous, I'm thinking. It certainly is. Well, we can... Ooh, two. That's a Spitfire. You know what? I really want to get rid of some Spitfires. This anti-air needs to come forward as well. You are in anti-air range, right? Not really. Hmm. Two I'll take. These schnell boats are not good. I wonder, can we maybe take this thing out with our hoops? That would be really nice. I guess not. Nope. Okay, well, we're making a dent in their air, we're making a dent in their sea. Um, let's just come up here, we'll place aircraft above where we don't want their aircraft to go. One three, I'll take that. Okay. And I think that's it. We have a yeah, one four. I'll take that. A lot of ships down here, man. You could actually attack something, but 
I don't really want to lose that damn Spitfire. So, I guess we'll do that. All our ships have gone. Well, you can move. Let's move you in here. You can do something, but nothing useful. You can move, but you're stuck in there, really. So, let's just go ahead and end the turn. And the air is really nasty to the ships. Seemed like a bad idea. So did that. Okay. Seems the Royal Navy is much, much more powerful than our Navy is. And it seems like the Royal Air Force has decided that they don't want really want to bomb our forces on land because of our anti-air in there, which is great. <sighs> nothing destroyed on Gustav. Still nothing destroyed on Gustav. It's very good news. Okay, the Royal Air Force needs to go down. And this one seemed particularly nasty. A swordfish. Uh, stats. Naval attack 22, yeah. Well, if that wolf gained a star. Let's see, we place you there, then we can bombard up there. Gonna have to use one more to take that out. Okay, so two, that's fine. Here you're in, you have cover, so bomb that. Let's do two, two here. And we'll send you up here. That ship is basically gone. Good, and I can live with losing that one. Okay. And we have uh, down here. Oh, 
won't be able to bombard that ship though, which is annoying. Five, two, that's no good. Two. Right, that thing is gone. Let's see, what can Gustav reach? You can reach that. You didn't finish it off though. I did. Okay. Now. Zero two or zero two doesn't really matter that much. One one. One one. Well, I guess Admiral Hipper is going to the bottom of the sea. A is going to the bottom of C as well, but taking one of those with it. Okay, all our air is out and about except this guy who can't really reach anything. I might actually rebase him over here. Seems like all this ship action is going to come over here. Alright, let's just double check. All the planes have moved, all the ships, the ones that I want to. Where are you? You're there. Oh. My ships really are mainly a cannon fodder. Right, two two, I can live with that. Don't mind you being there. Let's send these guys up this way. The idea really is to get them close enough that they can get maybe some cover from our anti air, so have them along the coast. All right, end the turn. Man, they have a lot of planes. But we have taken some down. Gain the star. Just seems stupid. Let's see, what do we do here? Well, first of all, you're 
to go. We two will take that. That's right. She's good to me. Six seems good to me. Very nice. And that means that you can finish off this guy. Another Stuka. I will wait with you. Now this Stuka up here needs some protecting. This is not my fuck wolf, so I'll send you in and try and deal with these damn spitfires. to send these guys. doesn't have much defense left in him. We sail you up here. Ah, uh, you can't disembark. So, okay, you're embarked. You're embarked. And you're embarked. And you also come out this way. This Stuka can't really do much this turn. But what we can do is... Let's move you down here, move you down here. Then we can move you up here. And take him out. And we can move you in and embark and sail you out a bit. Alright, so we have some sh forces on their way. here is lined up quite nicely I think go up here and get ready to embark go onto the road let's see we have you let's rebase you over here Two bombers, which can't really do anything. We have our sub here. Everything up here is now dealt with. Where are you? You're there. Stay. All right. And the turn. Oh. 
five. That was my subs that got hit hard there. Like that. Okay. Takes that down. Definitely making a nice dent in there here now. And that means that we're ready to land. Do some bark. Move up here. All right, we have taken our first landing. Now you. There we go. All right, we are on the British mainland. Can't attack this turn, which is a little bit annoying. Homer will come over here, the Homer will come over here and land here, and we will embark you, embark you, embark you. Suppose we can sail these out here. So that we can embark more stuff. Embark. Embark. You come up there. You come up there. Embark. Embark. All right. That's pretty much all our forces on their way. All right. Very nice. Go up here and start working on that, I guess. Where's the sub I had? Here somewhere. Did that get sunk? I guess so. Okay. Well, let's return. Damn it. Not too bad. That's too bad. Wow, that thing is getting shredded. Wow. That hurt. Okay. 
Okay. Well. And we can send the other one up here and bombard that. And we can send a BF-109 Typhoons, okay? So protect both of them. That actually worked out quite nicely. Our sub. Good work. I thought I had another sub. It seems to have been sunk. Oops. Just give you some cheap replacements. And you as well. Alright. That works for me. Okay, that should be an overrun, right? Then we can destroy that. And you can bombard that. Interested. Three nine. It's more interesting. All right, plus two to soft attack. Nice. Let's get this tiger landed. Take that with it. Let's get another tiger landed. Move up here. Come on. And the tiger. And an elephant. And another elephant. I think I'll keep this infantry over here, but I do want some anti-air over there. Now Gustav isn't very useful anymore. Then I wonder if he can bark to get him over on the train lines over here. That would be kind of nice. We'll see about that. Alright, uh, let's see. Two or five. Um, let's get you up here because then you're covering most units. Actually, let's move you over here. Just one. Now you both got replacements. So 
So you two, you can now rebase up here and still be protected. Three, two. I don't really like those odds. Hmm. Did your thing. All right, I guess that's it for the turn and also for the episode. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.